Continuous observations. In our discussion, we assume the discrete observation is modeled as a multinomial, that is, uh, the probability of OT conditioning on QT equals to SJ and lambda equals to pi multiplications for all pi, with m starting from 1 to capital M of uh, the function bj of m to the rm to the t exponential, where rm to the t such a function is equal to 1 if ot is equal to vm, and the rm to the t is equal to 0 otherwise. So if the inputs are continuous, one possibility is to discrete ties them, and then use uh, these discrete values as observations. Typically, a vector quant uh, quantizer in section 7.3 is used for this purpose of uh, converting continuous values to the discrete index of the closest reference vector. For example, in a speech recognition, a word utterance is divided into short speech segments corresponding to phonemes or part of phonemes. After preprocessing, these are discretized using a vector quantizer and an HMM is then used to model a word utterance as a sequence of them. Remember that k-means uh, used for vector quantization is the hard version of a Gaussian mixture model, that is, uh, P of OT conditioning on QT equals to SJ and lambda is equals to sigma. Summing for index L starting from 1 to capital L of the term, P of GL times P of OT conditioning on QT equals to SJ and uh, with additional parameter GL and the original parameter lambda. So where the probability of OT conditioning on QT equals to SJ and with additional parameter GL with uh, the original parameter lambda is approximately like the normal distribution with parameter mu L and the sigma L and the observations are kept continuous. In this case of Gaussian mixtures, EM equations can be derived for the component parameters with a suitable regularization to keep the number of parameters in check and the mixture properties. This is by Rebiner in 1989. Let us see the case of a scalar continuous observation, OT, which is in R. The easiest is to assume a normal distribution, that is, the probability of OT conditioning on QT equals to SJ and lambda is approximated by the normal distribution of the parameter mu j and uh, sigma j to the square, which implies that instead sj, the observation is uh, drawn from a normal with the mean mu j and variance sigma j to the square. The mth step equation, in this case r, mu j hat equals to sigma summing for all t of the term gamma t of j, times OT divided by uh, sigma summing for OT of the term gamma T of J and uh, sigma J to the hat to the square is equals to sigma summing for OT of the term gamma J gamma T of J times the square of OT minus mu J to the hat divided by sigma summing for all gamma T of J summing for index T.